hello guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new so in today's video i'm going to show you my beauty reset routine i have to wash my hair i have to do a facial how do i say this i have to shave shave my face does this sound manly <laughs> hopefully not but you probably know that that's shaving your face with this um, with these brow shavers has a lot of benefits i'm going to put in the screen so i really needed to trim uh, to trim my eyebrows the only thing that i do is i shave the growth that i have which usually is not that much but um after like two three weeks it starts to mess with my brow shape the only thing that i basically do is retouch the brow shape then i like to shave my face because it helps me to it helps me to remove that skin and afterwards when i apply my makeup it's just mwah. These are the products that I'm using for this shower routine, hair mask, body gels, this is hair mask, body gel, body scrub, you know, the gel for down there, a loofah, and this is like a, a scrub for your, for your body, you know. Really needed to wash my hair and listen, I do love to wash my hair, especially when I'm with braids because it's easier and it's way quicker than if I was with my natural hair loose. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to wash my hair and I'm going to do a mask. Even when I'm with braids, I always do the mask, the deep conditioning, because it's extremely important for you to keep conditioning and keep hydrating your hair, even if you're with braids, you know. I think, I mean, when I started to do this a few years ago, I saw a massive change on my hair when I took the braids out. It was much more hydrated had a lot of life and volume and because of that it was much more healthier i don't know if this thing is called a loofah but it's so Good. You do need to be gentle because if you scrub too hard, you're going to hurt your skin and that's not the point. So guys, after shower, it's a must for me to lotion my body with this body lotion. I've been using the Babaria. Babaria, is it the name? Yes, Babaria. I've been using the vitamin C from Babaria. It's a very thick cream. As you can see, you have to spend a little time. Um, it's, a very, uh, it's a very thick uh, cream. But honestly, I do prefer thick creams, you know, thick body lotions over the ones that are lighter because I feel it's, it gives me the, it gives me what I want in terms of a body lotion, you know, which is cream, the glow and my skin keeps and my skin and my skin stays hydrated for long this is another must like eye patches as you can see as you can probably tell i have under eye bags listen <laughs> this is a thing that it's genetics you know i i do know i do see a difference when i use the eye patches and or when i sleep well you know there's 
there's a difference of course but it's genetics i do like to take care of those because trust and belief from my whole body this is literally the only tiny insecure that i have under eye bags but yeah it's okay so as you can see i already put my cream on and a serum which i forgot to show you these are the products that i use for my hair um it's I, I basically i do everything the same as if i was with my natural hair out the same products i mean now that i'm recording the voiceover i already bought some new products that i have to show you it's from miel but yeah going back to the video these are the products that i was using the the avocado garnier line then i tried the honey serum for hair you know listen i really like the consistency and the smell listen it's so good for your hair you know you can use it as a per you see trust and believe it's very it smells very very well but yeah um it's a new serum that uh, that garnier has and i decided to try it and i loved it um because i love when my hair smells good this is almond oil this is almond oil i love almond oil from my hair it's a recent purchase uh usually i use castor oil which i do love as well but listen i know i'm saying listen a lot of times on this video almond oil is very good for my hair because it's lighter and it doesn't have a smell you know castor oil does have a little smell you know it's not bad but it's not good good so yeah i do like to mix castor oil with almond oil even though i was only using almond oil today on this video I've been thinking a lot, yeah I've been thinking about one thing mostly Yeah, yeah, yeah I want you to come on over it and if I'm asleep Wake me up in my dreams When you find me in my sleep when I'm dreaming You come behind me, behind me, behind me I just wanna play it all the time then I was preparing my hair to recurl the to retouch the curls of my braids, and so the the basically what I do is I like to do four braids, and then I roll the braids on the how the, how is it called on the roller on the fle flexi roads exactly the, this and then I <laughs> then I roll the braids on flexi roads I I heat I boil water. And then I put the hair on boiling water for a few minutes. I let it sit for a few minutes. After that, I let the hair dry as much as it can. I leave the flexi rolls on my hair as much as I can, you know. Sometimes, not sometimes, most of the times, I even sleep with the flexi rolls. Uh, so that uh, the curls really turn out the way that I like. Hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe comment which videos would you like to see more from me see you in the next one Mwah.